Hey you guys, welcome to another video from A1 Rage Gaming. Today I'm going to play play Maximum Carnage from LJN. This came out in 1995, 1994-95. And this is what actually what Venom 2 should have been. Because this game here that I'm going to play right now was based off a, a 14 a 14 part crossover in the Spider-Man comic book series called Maximum Carnage and it included a lot of superheroes as you can see here. There's a lot of superheroes here in this game as well as in the 14 part 14 part story comic book in those comic books. He has a movie coming out. I might check that out. Mo Morbius. I we have yet to see Firestar in any of the MC MCU movies, Captain America, Iron Fist, still on Netflix, Deathlock, Shriek, Carnage's Sidekick, Partner in Crime, Doppelganger, Demo Goblin, Carrion, as in Carrion Cross. So let's start the game. How many of you seen that Venom 2 movie? Did you guys actually like it? Okay, Ravencroft, a maximum security institution devoted to the study and incarceration of the criminally insane. I sincerely hope, Officer Resnick, that I can somehow return the courtesy you've shown me by slaughtering you quickly and with minimal agony. In your dreams, sicko. You should have listened. Guys, I warned you. Now when I first played this game, I don't know how we got the symbiote in the first place. It was not known. But I guess those who read that, those comic books probably do. Oh crap. You should never trust a raving lunatic. Now as you see, he Carnage wasn't that vicious in the movies. He was just knocking people around and turning into a giant whirlwind. Yeah, there's gonna I'm giving some spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie, stop the video. But um For those of you that have never read the the, the Maximum Carnage or any Spider-Man comic books, and if you saw Carnage for the first time in the in the in, in that Venom 2 movie, you could tell that they were holding back on what, what Carnage was really capable of. So Woody Harrison did the best he could, and he probably got that part because he used to, he did that Natural Born Killers movie. But um, they could have gone a bit farther, man. I mean, that movie needed to be rated R. Um, just like the third Punisher movie that came out from Marvel Knights movie, you know that know that Punisher of War Zone that came out. That one was much better. That was more like the Punisher than than any other Punisher Punisher movie ever made. So that movie, Red Venom 2, should have been rated R. And they tried to do it without Spider-Man, which was impossible. Like I said, Venom 2 should have been part of the MCU. I knew you changed my luck, pretty lady. There's a Spidey in the alley. my line I'm supposed to be the monster here I'm just letting you guys see all see, see all the scenes here before I play the game for those of you who have never seen this game before this is a classic right here it came up for the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis the only reason I'm playing the Super NES version because graphic graphically it's slightly better but 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 comes to sound and the mute the computer music Assisting this game, it's it's much better by leaps and bounds. Mm -hmm. 
And if music sound kind of kind of like rock music, it was but it was composed by a band named um, Green Jell Jello. Not they changed the name to Green Jelly. You might have heard that song Little Pigs, Little Pigs on Headbangers Ball back in the day. Yeah. So this. Are they going to come close? There you go. Okay, I better use that just for emergency because it took, it took a little bit off my life bar. Like most special attacks would. Why Venom is not part of the MCU is because um, even though they had Spider-Man, um, Columbia, Sony, Sony Pictures, Sony Pictures, Sony still owned them. Um, some of the Spider-Man characters, unfortunately. But I'm hearing that Spider-Man still be going, be going back to Sony Pictures. with a different Spider-Man. So the move so the Spider-Man movie that's coming out um, next month might be the last one. But if you ever decide to do it again, man, I mean, my goodness, man, how many Spider-Man reboots can we can we can we take? Are we going to have anyway? I like the one with the Amazing Spider-Man. I mean, it was stupid of them. The Amazing Spider-Man series. I mean, I think it was really really stupid to kill off Gwen Stacy, since we since since, since the popularity of um, Spider-Gwen is is much higher than it ever was now. So it was pretty stupid. It didn't make any sense. They do it for dramatic reasons to get some emotions out of you, but in the end. That was probably the reason why they didn't bother making the sequel. It kind of felt like they left so much on the table when they didn't do the third one. We only have two Amazing Spider-Man movies, and I thought the I thought the costume in Amazing Spider-Man Two, I think that was the best it ever looked. When they made the eyes bigger, that was pretty cool. Double smash! God damn! <laughs> it's a special occasion when I managed to pull that off. That's not very that's not very easy to do. Listen to that music in the background, man. Green jelly. Sounds like sounds rock sounds rockish, don't it?
Double smash. I mean, I, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm talking about my web technique, man. Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm in the middle, double smash. Oh. So I got one continues left. Well, let's get right to it then. God. You know this game remind me remind me of um, this game reminds me of the Spider-Man arcade game that came out in the early 90s. I think they just took the gaming engine out of this, repackaged it, and named it Maximum Carnage. But I thought I think it was genius. If that's what they actually did. This is so similar to Spider-Man the arcade game, in a way. The drawing the drawing style is kind of different, but. The core function of, this, of, the, of both of those games are really similar. Now, LJN, that, they came a long way. They were getting better. I mean, it's hard to believe that the same, LJN, the same company that made this, made that X-Men video game for the NES a while back. I mean, that Bird View X-Men game? That was that was an atrocity. LGN came a long way. It's sad that I don't think they're in, in business anymore. I kind of miss those companies. LGN, um, Data East. I don't know if you guys remember Data East. They made some cool arcade games back in the day, like RoboCop and Bad Dudes, Werewolf for the NES. Captain America: The Avengers. I mean, the side-scrolling fighting games was where it's at, though, man, because back in the day, if you guys have ever had a Atari 5200 2600, then you know this was a big improvement, because now you have, like, large characters, 16-bit characters, like what you're looking at right now. You should have seen what we had before we even had 8-bit.
Double smash. Oh, they're, they're, they're whipping their hair, dude. Oh, crap. She must be a headbanger. That white girl's whipping her hair back and forth, boy. I need to get out. I need to get out. Oh! Oh, man, those women are tough. One last try. Let's skip all this. After this, I'll call it a day. So I hope you guys know this is not a playthrough. I don't have that much time. I'm just gonna give you guys a feel of what this game's like, talk about it. Just in case you guys wanna buy this for yourself. At your local game used game place. You guys might have seen this for like five or ten dollars. Jump, jump out of, if it gets through crowd, I gotta learn how to, you sprint and jump, that's how you. I gotta try, try to get out, try to learn how to get out of tight places. to get that. Yeah, Venom 2 should have had a had a had a um, should have had all kinds of superheroes in it. But it was just, just Carnage and Venom and Shriek, and that was basically it. Maybe I keep dying because I keep using that special move. That's draining my energy. Oh, it's my last shot. See if those girls beat me now, it's game over.
gonna need to get past level one. Oh, I was, man, I was saving that heart. It disappeared. Turn around. Oh, man. Oh, God. All right, man. That's it, Joe. Well, um, thank you for watching, man. There'll be many more, many more games to come. So you're going to see, going to see more wrestling matches. Like I know, I could see some of you guys like that. Uh, Beth Phoenix and Kelly Kelly one I did for the WWE 13 on the Nintendo Wii. And you might even see more matches from the other wrestling games like I, I have. Like uh, WWE, um, WWE 2K19. I'll have the regular WWE Superstars go up against my um, created characters. Really make some good matches when I make when I make the CPU play against each other, but that's another sub so that's another topic we'll touch on for as for that. For as for Maximum Carnage, man, I'm out. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you like what you want to see more games and more conversations, man, please subscribe. Thank you very much, man, and I'm out. See ya.